everybody. We're going to study about Kimmy Kentrell. He's a clay artist who likes to make masks and fish. And here are some examples of his work. I just love the textures and the patterns and the colors he uses. He's got beautiful work and he's very well known. Look at those colors. And those textures, he has little tiny heads inside that head. <laughs> he's very clever and has funny um, ideas and he's going to be our inspiration for our project today. So here's an example of a mask that I made. Um, you may remember it. It was in the old studio at my house, if you've been attending that long. Um, and I used um, just magazine parts and different papers and just kind of made a silly mask, um, just based off of Kimmy. So for this project though, we need a pencil. You may or may not need that. Uh, a marker, Sharpie, a glue stick, and you may want uh, a liquid glue as well, and scissors, and that should be good for our tools. Oh, and also Posca paint pens, and you certainly don't need these. Um, they're kind of a bonus if you have them. So let's look at what else I've found. I went through the junk drawer and I found, oh, I was so excited. I found a googly eye, woohoo! And I don't know what this was, but I can see a lot of cool things coming out of this. I have chosen to do a fish instead of a mask because he does fish and they're, they're pretty cool. So I'm gonna be putting together some of these things that I found. Look at this shiny paper. I also went through a magazine and just tore out some places, um, pieces that have a lot of color and pattern. This one I liked the colors and the, and the shape there. Um, here's one with a light bulb. I don't know if I would even use it, but it was cool. I also have all these solid colors of paper that are fun to tuck in here and there. Um, this bright color, uh, fun foam and more like this let's see and i do have another shiny piece and um i have some red fun foam so really you can do anything you can find around your house i'm going to take all this off of here and i'm doing it on black paper you certainly can do it on any paper you want i just wanted it to be kind of um more uh, outstanding on the black. So I'm going to lightly, and you may not even be able to see this, draw a fish. And I'm not giving it any details. That might be even fatter than I want. So for now, this is my area that I want to work in. So I'm going to get started by cutting out some colors I'm going to start with this bright yellow. And I'm going to kind of lay it out where the tail is. And really, I don't have to go exactly by what I have drawn. So I kind of like this shape. I'm going to cut it better. Oop. Okay, so I'm going to lay that down. So that's a good start. Um, I definitely want some of this. So this might just be a big section. Oof, that makes me. This is hologram paper and my daughter worked at Bath and Body Works uh, for a long time and this was uh, some display paper they had there. And oh my gosh, we've used that in so many projects. It is really wonderful. And I think hologram paper for a fish will be perfect. Now it's square, isn't it? That's kind of weird, right? But it's not because we will build around that. Oh, I bet you're all jealous. Maybe you have some at home, but that is just beautiful. 
Um, now I want to bring in this purple. I love this purple. So I'm going to cut up some. Uh, oh, I kind of like that actually. I hope I'm not out of the camera range here. So I'm going to cut up some like this. I might do a few more. Long piece. Oh, that one was shorter than I expected. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to glue this onto the tail. Woo! Those are complementary colors. And I don't know if any of you remember when we did our, our little test where you look at the complementary colors for 20 seconds and then look at a white piece of paper. But you would certainly get that from this because these are complementary colors and those colors are gonna jump. All right, so I got that. Now I wanted to put some purple on here like that and maybe this funny shape can go here maybe at an angle okay some of these want to stick and some don't <laughs> but you'll get the picture and then you can do it the same way or it'll be totally different but you'll, you'll be doing this project like that okay one more we may end up covering these. I don't know yet because it will develop as I go. Okay. What if we put this? Maybe right. Maybe I'll trim off. Well, I don't know. I kind of like that. Maybe we'll put that there. Glue that down. I really like this shape that's already on here. I don't know what it was from. I think it was a giant Christmas ball or Christmas ornament decoration thing. Okay, so that is kind of funky. Now we're getting somewhere. Um, I'm just into this shiny stuff right now. So I'm gonna do another little shiny piece. I'm gonna curve this just a little bit. Curve. I'm not sure if you could hear that just a second ago. There was kind of a jingle jingle. And that is my dog, Ollie, who's with me again at the studio. In fact, he's been coming with me almost every day. And I just love being with him, even though he probably would like a few more T-R-E-A-T's. I, I can't say the word out because he knows exactly what that is. Okay. There. And I don't mind that it's covering up something. That's just fine. Now, I want to do something a little different. How about if we add, how about if there's some texture here? So I'm just going to round this a little bit. And again, you don't have to just, you can, there's no real plan. So if you go beyond the edges of what you drew, it'll be fine. Because in the end, we are going to cut it out so we can trim things. use some of this. My hands are so sticky already. Blah. Okay, let's move some of this off here so it's not distracting. Okay, so this, I kind of like the texture of this tree, so maybe, uh, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just cut this out. And then I'm gonna just place this like so. And just round it in. I don't know that I like that. How about if we do I'm gonna put that right there. 
And I think you should kind of think about where you're putting things. Um, I mean, you didn't, you don't want to just go through and glue everything any which way, which looks like I'm doing right now, but it will come together more. I have these pretty, oops, I have these pretty colors. I want to put this in here. Some of these shapes that were already cut are pretty awesome. Um, maybe this can come. Maybe this can come. We'll go right here. I'll trim that later. And this color, really liking this color. I actually like that pattern that's cut out of that. Maybe we can use that. Here's some more of this color. I really like this, so I'm gonna bring this color in. And I'm going to put it here. Now my pieces are very busy now compared to um, Kimmy's, but they're my pieces. I've just been inspired by Kimmy. I don't need to copy him. That's how we learn from other artists. We don't copy them, but we are inspired by them. So, oh, this is a nice curve. So I'm gonna take this curve. This is gonna be good here. Maybe to there. I might tuck that. Okay, that's coming together. Trim that very well. Here, let's trim that one more time. Oh, that really stuck. Well, that's good. That's good to know. Okay. Now, I do have... Where'd my googly eye go? I gotta get my googly eye. Here it is. I wanna get that in there because I love that. That's like my favorite part. Googly eyes are funny. Oh, it fits perfectly. Look at that. I just gotta get this so it glues. Oops. I got enough on my finger. There. All right. I'm liking that. Okay. Um, let's do, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to need to get some liquid glue here. Hopefully this one. Let's cut this off. Squeeze out some. There we go. carefully. Get that glued right in there. Just to add a little interest. Okay, now I think that's looking pretty good. Um, can I use this as an eyebrow? Where's the other one? This one might be nicer. Little eyelashes or eyebrow. I think I'll wait on that till the end. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Posca markers. Now, if you do this on white paper, you can use uh, Sharpies. They'll work well, really well. Um, but I'm thinking if on black paper, my Sharpies are not gonna show up. But if you have gel pens, they work pretty well. I might do a little more pink over here. Let's try another color. Oh, here comes my fan. It always gets loud. I think I have a really quiet space and then it gets loud. 
So, okay, I'm gonna do a design here. It's kind of like the at sign. There's an at sign. <laughs> Some people have trouble drawing those. You just make an A and then you keep going. Okay, um, let's do dot, 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 dot. Maybe bigger dots. I'm trying to fill in some of the black spots, but I still like having the black available to see. Um, how about we need more of the blue? So I think I might do this. And then, let's see, I might just do I'm wanting a texture, so this is why I'm doing it kind of like this scribbly. And obviously, there is no wrong in this because everything you're doing is just, just going out of your creative mind. Ooh, I kind of like how that's going. Okay, there's that. I'm kind of going to do some more here, I think. All right, now, I'm kind of liking this. So I think what I'm going to do now is glue on this eyelash or eyebrow. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I'll put the cap on. No wonder nothing's coming out. Oh, goodness sakes. You're probably all laughing at me at home. I think I have an Ollie. My dog's hair is right there. We'll put that over there. I think these beads rolled off a little bit. I don't want to stick. Must have, we'll have to give it time. Okay, so in the end, what I'm gonna do, now you could certainly add fins, um, top and bottom if you want. I, this is just a demo, as I say. Um, but I'm going to pick up just a little bit so that we can cut this out and get the whole fish idea. And of course, I put it in the middle of the paper, which I always tell you don't put in the middle of the paper so you can save a lot of paper, but huh, it's a demo, right? <laughs> you can follow the rules at home. Here we go. Now, I'm just shaping this a little bit more to what I have glued. Hmm. I think I'm cutting at a weird angle. I'm kind of over and behind. There we go. There's fish. Pretty cool, huh? And that is that. See you next time.